All right. So, Dino, how's uh, how's life in Korea so far for you? Uh, yeah, actually, it's very good. Uh, above what I expected, to be honest. Um, it's been a nice transition for me. Uh, easier than what I thought. So, uh, no, I'm, I don't have uh, any complaints. Good. Has there been any culture shocks for you? Uh, not really. I'm quite used to moving around, uh, being in different clubs, different countries. But uh, obviously, this is a little bit further than what, what I'm used to. Uh, different language. Mostly people uh, don't speak English. Uh, but I think it's been all right. You know, I have my uh, translator with me. Uh, so he helps me a lot. And uh, no, it's been, it's been very good. Good. How's the food? Did you know that Gangwon is an area it's famous for potatoes? Yeah, I heard about it. Uh, yeah. The food is all right, actually. Uh, been out eating in different restaurants and it's been fantastic. It's a lot of the Korean barbecue and I'm a big fan of it. So, Yeah, well, uh, on the field, been a great start to you. A goal on your debut and a win. You must yes. be very happy with how your debut went in particular. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, you come in and you try to make an impact. Um, and Yeah, I think I did that. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's important to, to get a good start uh, for the team and for me. So, yeah, I can't complain. Yeah, more goals since then too. And um, obviously, as a striker joining a new club, do you put pressure on yourself to score from the very beginning or, or something that you just think, okay, it might take time? Of course, you have pressure and you put the pressure on yourself. Uh, I think you have to understand yourself that it can take time. Uh, and sometimes you don't score the first five games and then you score for five games. Uh, for me, uh, I'm 28 now, so I, I've been through it, both scoring in the beginning and scoring in the end. So, uh, yeah, to be honest, I, had, I put pressure on myself, but I know how it works. Yeah. Um, so where did the move come from? Obviously, you spent most of your time in, in Europe. Where did the sudden move to Asia and uh, the K-League, where did that come from? Uh, well, I've been uh, two years in Norway. Uh, I had one year left in my contract and the uh, offer came and I felt like uh, I wanted to move. And uh, I think the K-League is, is a good league. Uh, so, uh, to be honest, I thought about a couple of days and... and after that, it was just to take the step. I think that you do good here and you can take uh, another step both in Europe and in Asia. So, uh, I mean, you you try to develop every day. So, for me, uh, it was quite easy choice. Yeah, we've already had some quite famous Montenegro internationals play in K-League. Obviously, Magosha and Dejan. Have yes. you, did you speak to either of those two uh, about what life's like here? Uh, not really, to be honest. Uh, I know that uh, when I've been in the national team, I spoke a little bit with uh, Mugosha about uh, the national team, well, the Korean league, uh, not knowing that I'm, I will come here. Uh, so that's the only info I knew. Uh, but since I knew I was coming here, I, I didn't speak about uh, with them about it. Okay. How does um, K League One then compare to obviously the leagues you played to in the past, obviously in the Netherlands, in Sweden, and in in Norway, in terms of the tempo and the style of play, that kind of thing? I think it's difficult to say. I've tried to compare, and to be honest, I spoke this with my friends. Uh, even spoke to one guy that plays in China, and it's, it's different. It's a different football. It's a different culture, and. Uh, but one thing I would say is that the football in K-League is very technical. I think uh, every individual player is, is a very uh, technical skilled. Uh, intensity is high. Uh, that, these two things, I would say, is the, is the most... Uh, what I've, I've seen is the most uh, highest quality, I think. Uh, then I think tactically, Europe is a little bit better. I think that's... that's uh, uh, area where where you should develop more yeah obviously you've um you played almost a full game in the, in the in the last game you had to sort of come off the bench a, li a little bit is that just down down to fitness or is it um because of the under 22 rule that kind of thing is that is that what it uh, is <laughs> you should ask the coach but I think <laughs> I, 
because of the fitness. Uh, I came from uh, straight from holiday. Uh, didn't really train, uh, train football for two months because uh, the league stopped in in the beginning of December in Norway. I came here in the beginning of February. So it takes time to get fitness and uh, not getting any stupid injuries. If, if uh, I would start straight away, but I'm feeling better and better every week. And uh, I think it was a good plan to to not overdo it. Uh, feeling like I said, better and better every day. So uh, hopefully I will start uh, next Sunday. Yeah. Well, uh, obviously we talked about um, feeling the pressure maybe to score early on, but obviously. Gangwon were one of the lowest scorers in, in K-League last year. Obviously, they finished 11th. They had to go through a relegation playoff. You being the the, the number nine, obviously, you wear the number nine shirt. You are the, the main striker. And obviously, in, in the K-League, there aren't that many foreign players. So do, do you like having that expectation of, of being the guy to sort of fire them up, up the table and away from what happened last year? Of course. I mean... Uh... There's a saying, uh, with pressure comes privilege. Uh, so uh, obviously it's a, it's a big pressure, but uh, I think the, the reward is bigger. If you, if you do well, uh, it's, it's a fantastic thing to do. And uh, I think uh, Gangwon last year was, was a bit unlucky with things I heard. Uh, I think it's a better team than playing in relegation. So uh, no, really, I think he's... Uh, I say uh, it's a pressure, but I like it. Yeah. What did you know about Gangwon FC then before you joined? Did did the the club really try and sell the the vision to you or the the you know the project and that kind of thing? <clears throat> well, uh, like you said, it was a relegation battle last year, and uh, I think that uh, that. They tried to explain that they were not uh, that low normally. And I think the new owner also trying to build, uh, the new president trying to build something uh, uh, with a long-term plan. And uh, obviously that I'm one of the stepping stones in that. So um, yeah, to be honest, that was it. I think the president's uh, name and uh, record speaks for itself. Uh, and uh, I think, uh, the club shocked me in how professional they are. Uh, to be honest, you don't really know when you come from Europe how how it is here. Uh, but I've been uh, I've been surprised to be honest. Uh, everything around the club is 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 worked per- uh, perfectly for me. Yeah, you seem to be uh, have a good partnership al- already with Kim Dewan. Um You must be very pleased with how with how that's kind of blossomed even after just a few matches. Yeah, he's a fantastic player. Uh, I saw it straight away when when I came uh, to training camp. Uh, that good movement, good technique, uh, good finishing. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, it will get better and better uh, during the season. And what's the coach like to work with? He's he's quite well known in K League for someone who likes foreign players. He, um, you know, every foreign player that I've spoken to always speaks very well about him. What's yeah. he like in terms of his communication and his, his uh, management and that kind of thing? Well, I think he's uh, demanding, very demanding. Uh, for me, I like it. Uh, I think he's uh, honest, uh, saying that if you like, he will give you credit if you do do well, and I think he will tell you that if you're not doing well. Uh, so uh, tactically, I think he's uh, quite uh, very good. Um, like what I said before about the league, that tactically can get better. I think he's one of them that is uh, very good tactically. Uh, so, uh, no, fantastic. I think uh, he's also been a striker. So I'm trying to learn things from uh, from uh, from him also. Um, so, yeah. Has uh, he or the club said anything about where they want to be in terms of a target for this season? Have they said... A specific target, or is it just sort of take each game as, as it comes? Well, not specifically, but uh, I would say that from my feeling of, of what I, I've seen and what I heard is that obviously we're trying to be better than last year, um, but I think top top half 
you call it like that, uh, would be a good result. And then for me, like like you said, also you take one game at a time and you're trying to win every game. And I mean, obviously, if you win every game, you win the league. But I think your your goal should be to win every game uh, in the next game. So uh, that's that's the goal, to be honest. Like you said, yeah. And what about you as an individual, as a, a striker? Obviously, you want to score in every game that you play in, of of, of course. But yeah. do you set goals, uh, a target before the season of, say, 15 goals or, or, or something like, like that? Well, um, I used to. Uh, I think it's difficult here because I'm not sure, uh, like, what's a normal number for, for a striker in, in this league to score. Um, I also think this number will always changed for me so like if say now i didn't have a number but say if i had a number beginning of the season and i have a good start then obviously that number should go higher and i think obviously after 10 games you don't score you should, maybe you have to lower that number so yeah i think you have to adjust your goal uh, and the plan uh, so i don't have a number right now but i think that during season i will i probably will have a yeah, and with obviously looking at the the goals from the weekend just gone, obviously your goal came from a great counter attack and a, a great run down down the wing. With, yeah. with, with those kind of wide players, it must mm. be very good for you as a striker knowing that you're going to be able to get those kind of balls in. It's, you just know where 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 to be. Of course, of course, and uh, I think uh, compared to my last club, we have uh, well wing backs that that has the right foot. Uh, on the on the right side, if you understand what I mean. So I left footed yeah. on left side and a right foot on the right side, and uh, obviously wingers now with a uh, right foot on the right side. And uh, for me as a striker, that helps a lot. If you compare yeah. to a, a winger that goes inside and probably will try to shoot by himself or or play inside, so of course it helps a lot. It's quite a big squad as well that gang won it. It's obviously because they've got a B team and now you can have players from the B team go back and forth. Is that something that you've noticed that is a very, very big squad perhaps compared to other other clubs that you played for in the past? Yeah, I think I think uh, the difference here is, well, it depends. I think when I played for Fulham and also in Cloning, it was the same, but you work together with the second team and when you're missing players, you just bring them up. Um, I think when, when I played in Fulham, it was not a big deal to train with the first team because if they needed players, we were just training uh, besides them. So we just went over to the other pitch. So I think I'm used to it. Uh, I think it's a good thing. I think often you should try train 11 against 11 and uh, then you need 22 players. So I think it's a very good thing. Yeah, what was it like playing for a Fulham or playing in in the youth setup? Uh, how, how was that experience for you? I mean, it's a it's a fantastic experience for for a young young player, uh, and uh, I think I learned a lot. Um, small details about like it could be technical, tactical, everything. Uh, obviously, you train with much better players than you are used to, uh, and you have to bring your level. Up every day. Also, training with first team is the same. Like you see how how good they are, uh, and uh, there's a difference. Also, being being that good and performing that good every day, every week, every month. Uh, so for me, realizing that at a young age is it was very important. Yeah. Was it hard to leave when you eventually did decide to leave? <laughs> Not really. Um, no. I think uh, even even though I learned a lot, it was a difficult per- period for me. I didn't play so much. Uh, I had some problems uh, in the club, uh, outside the club. So uh, for me, it was a good thing. Uh, but I still learned a lot, and uh, I will not I will not take it back. I think. Very good. All right. Well, Dino, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for joining us. Good luck this weekend, thank and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.